What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Friend and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're gonna be jumping into the gameplay preview of Pokemon Legends Arceus. This gameplay preview is about 12 minutes long. I don't want to waste my time up in the front of the video just talking about it. Let's dive in because I know I'm probably be stopping this a hundred times to be checking stuff out. Let's just jump into this gameplay preview of Pokemon Legends Arceus. This was posted on the official Pokemon YouTube page. I'm gonna have a link in the description as well as in the pin tweet comment on this video if you just want to check it out for yourself but let's dive in and check out the gameplay preview welcome trainers welcome thanks for joining us today for a preview of the upcoming game pokemon legends thank Arceus. you for showing us releasing okay so it's hella blurry for me let me uh bump this up to 1080 <laughs> throw that back okay <laughs> Just wanna, I want to see it as best Welcome as trainers. I can. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today for a preview of the upcoming game, Pokemon Legends oh, Arceus. that's not that much better, but... January 28th exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system. Today, we wanted to give you... Okay, so this gameplay footage not final on top. <laughs> Let's just go over that. And I don't want people to get mad at me for my opinion of the graphics of the game. I kind of do wish it looked better, but this is the art style they chose. I felt the same way. Just as an insider, I felt the same way about Breath of the Wild before it dropped. So, you yeah, that, first look. At that's one of my favorite Zeldas of all time, of course. Breath of the Wild. Some new gameplay. Let's begin. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region. Hisui. In an age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony. In time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Mount Coronet Ooh. rises from the center of the Hisui region. Surrounded on all sides by areas with distinct okay. environments. Ooh. Each area is rich in natural features these... and plays host to different Pokemon ecosystems. It was like crystals One such area the is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see Obsidian the trainer exploring Field here. Blends. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area okay. in Hisui has loads to discover. And you I mean, the pop, it's a, it's, it's a game on the Nintendo Switch. The draw distance is, is very noticeable. You should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. These seeing materials... The Badoof, seeing the Badoof pop in from, you know, far away, kind of like... ...can be used to craft many items that will help you on your journey. Oh, you automatically healing aim. items, you see viewers, that? He's all... smoke bombs, He's already... a mysterious invention called a Pokeball, and more. He your Pokemon... Already... He was already looking at the Bidoof before, as he walked up to it. I don't know if he was pressing a button to do that, but... ...on team can help you collect these materials, too. Okay. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks, okay. picking up plants growing in the wild grass, okay. defeating or catching Pokemon, or knocking items out of trees. Okay. Very Breath of the Wild-like, even the sound effects. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. Okay, you could. It looks like crafting is done really fast. I was scared that we we're gonna get like a Breath of the Wild or Monster Hunter like whole crafting system. All kinds of Pokemon will appear depending on the time of the day and the weather condition. Different species of Pokemon also have different temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach, like this Bidoof. <laughs> some species, like Starly, are skittish and will okay. run away if they see you approaching. There are even aggressive Pokemon that will attack okay. you should they spot you in the wild. Oh. If an aggressive Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokemon will enter an alert state. In okay. this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokemon. Okay. In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must battle it. You can initiate Bro, a battle what? by throwing a Pokeball containing one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon. God, let's go. So, you can fully control the camera while you're in this battle like this? It's not like into a locked... Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, what? Okay. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing a berry near a Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then start eating. While eating, the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. They got in the food, you get the notification too. Wow. 
It's almost like Pokemon Snap, bro. Wow, bro. When encountering a bro, what? Look, look, look on the side. Look on the side, bro. When they leveling up, new move. What is that? Plus new move. What? What does that mean? It has a new move. How do you? You have to go in the menu do that later. Or? wild Pokemon. You have to be careful. Can they have more than four moves? Like, <laughs> I'm confused. These Pokemon will not think twice about attacking you. Nope. My brother had to take, you take a knee. too much damage. You will black out and lose some of the items you are carrying when you fainted. Okay. Okay, it lets you know what you dropped. Okay, that's cool. As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not no star member, total Pokemon call it, different Pokemon species call it, Pokemon call it for the first time, Pokemon call it using a backstrike? Huh? Reward for this survey report. Not only will you okay. need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, you money. but you will also money. need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. Okay. This will update your Pokedex as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also okay. receive funds from the professor which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your research. Cool. cool. Traveling Hisui. The vastness well, of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout your adventure, you will encounter a I mean, I don't want to be the guy talking about trees, bro, but come on, guys, like... ...number of special Pokémon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weirdear helps you navigate on land faster. Hisui and Braviary, on the other hand, allows you to bro, soar through the skies. You can, like, instantly just switch. That is lit. Bro, how big is this place? Basque Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. Is that a volcano With behind her? Is that a volcano behind her? These Pokemon right? We've seen a volcano in the trailer. Why am I... By your side, We've seen a volcano. You will be able to explore the Hisui confirmed. region to your heart's content. I was about to say, wait, can we go to that volcano? Jubilee Village. Jubilife Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, okay. a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy Team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on how Pokémon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request, and preparing for your next excursion, You'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. Okay. After you finish your survey work, you'll return once more okay. to prepare for your next task. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also home lodging. to a variety of crib. different services, such as the Clothier, the Craftworks, and the Trading Post, where you can trade Pokémon with other players. Wait, 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 you could trade Pokémon with other players? That's like real players? Like me trade with you i thought they said this was going to be a well it's probably still going to be single player experience that's what they meant but they said it was going to be single player no i didn't think they was going to have trading or battling that maybe there is battling as well maybe they said trading they didn't say anything about battling though so but wow you can receive a variety of different wow these are missions missions these and requests are missions from the inhabitants right of hisu Catch, Requests okay. are small tasks Show that you Starling. do to help the residents of Hisui, while missions will advance the main story. Whoa, look at this map! Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your Arc Phone. Okay. The Arc Phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movements, mark locations on the map, okay. and track your current missions and requests. I like that. I like that we can pin stuff. Missions and requests vary in their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, okay. finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, mm -hmm. or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Okay, that's Please enjoy serious. this clip of a trainer completing a request. Okay, let's see it. Please, like what those ears look like. Okay. What the... What did the ears look like? 
And you gotta what? Take a picture of the ears with the phone? What are, you, what are we doing? How we taking the? How we knowing what the ears look like? We catching it? Throwing a Pokeball at it. Okay, yeah. Level up. And then you just go back and show them the Pokemon. Yes, you got one of those. Okay. So that's pretty much it. It's kind of simple. Very cool, though. We kind of have quests like that right now in Brilliant Diamond and, and Pokemon Sword and Shield where people are just asking to see a Pokemon. for helping that bone out and get three potions pokemon battles you can initiate a pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's pokeballs at or near a wild pokemon okay. if a wild pokemon does not see you approaching and you strike them with one of your partner's pokeballs this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra oh, chance to attack and battle if you throw, yeah that's insane that's cool that's cool that's cool i like that I like that. You just throw the, the Pokeball at Battles are turn-based, and you can uh -huh. get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. Okay, level 50 Thunder Pokemon versus Thunder Pokemon. Strong style. Are we doing Crunch? Ooh. Or Agile style. Agile style. What's that? That's the Using point. a move in the Agile style raises the user's action speed which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Oh, Strong sound moves okay. can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokemon's next turn. If an enemy can That's withstand cool. one of your Strong Style moves, prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Using Agile Style oh, moves okay. and Strong Style moves in battle causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. So be careful when planning oh, your battles. Okay. A good strategy is the key to victory. While surveying the wild, the you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. Yep. These are known as Alpha Pokemon and are much larger eyes. and have glowing red eyes. Be careful when approaching them if you are not mm -hmm. prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and Get strategy right, to take down. Okay. Here, the player uses Agile Style Thunder Wave to paralyze their opponent, delaying their turns and making them easier to catch, okay. while also changing move priority in an advantageous way for the player. Strategies like this are key to defeating Alpha Pokemon. Cool. Catching an Alpha Pokemon is a challenge, but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. Oh, so you can catch it too. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go. way customization by visiting the clothier you can customize clothier. your character with a variety of different yes clothing it's not like as diamond you progress through the game the you will you unlock could. more outfits to purchase oh, my boy look like make sure you. to pick a style that speaks to you <laughs> here is a quick look at some of the early customization options that trainers can wear okay and eyebrow color at the hairdresser cool 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 the Hisui region can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean you can't look your best. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I dig it. I dig it. Noble Pokemon. Let's get into the juicy stuff. Let's get During into your the adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called Noble Pokemon. Mm hmm. A strange it's phenomenon like totem. is causing totem the Pokemon. nobles to become frenzied, and and making them yeah. rampage. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. Lord Simply defeating the them in battle will not calm them. You will have to quell their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. Okay. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble with these bombs, as they will relentlessly attack you. Okay, what the about... The you um... see an opportunity, hit them oh, with Oh, we got infinite amount of them, too. Just like throwing the Pokeball, you need to aim carefully. Noble Pokemon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out and need okay. to attempt the battle again. Can you attack with your Balance Pokemon? throwing your bombs with dodging attacks to calm the Noble Pokemon. Okay. 
At some point during the fight, the noble Pokémon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokéball and start okay. the Pokémon battle. You start fighting, okay. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokémon down. Okay, let's go. Side to level 15, giving the brakes on this 18 Cleavor. Can we catch it? Oh, we have to knock it out. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh my Countless God. adventures away from you. That help wasn't series. really. It's we help. Not wait for you to get your hands on the game. It still has. After it releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. Let's go. We will see you very soon in Hisui. Bye. Oh my God, that is it. Oh my god, how did I think it was gonna be longer? Oh man. I mean, we really don't have to wait too long. Two weeks, and we have the game in our hands, right? Available January 28th, 2022. Cool. Two weeks, and we're good. We're good to go. So, while I'm not too worried about this game as far as gameplay wise, I think it is gonna play amazing. The battles look and like an, literally like an upgrade it f looks like the catching too is is going to be unique to this game so i'm interested in stuff like that the new gameplay mechanics i'm not too interested in the art style but i mean to be frank i'm not too interested in the pokemon art style like overall i wasn't really happy on uh, with how diamond and pearl looked in sword and shield i wasn't too impressed i yeah, I did appreciate the step up it was from um, the previous uh, 3DS games. But to me, I don't know. It's like a weird spot with the Pokemon games. I want them to look more like Let's Go, but Sword and Shield art style does look good. And now it, we get this, which is like a hot like mix. Oh, my God. End up the... I don't know why am I such a a, a a dork when it comes to stuff like that. Just seeing the, like, oh, my God. I mean, every game has that, like, popping. It's just to see the, 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 the trees back here just pop, randomly pop in. It's just, ugh. It, it, it does look kind of rough in, in that sense. And everything does look muddy. If I don't know why, but it, maybe it's just the area they're in, the time of day. I got to get it in hand. I got to see it on the TV. So maybe... It looked better there than a compressed YouTube video. I'm very curious about this game. Still got a ton of questions. This did a lot for me as far as putting me, you know, higher on the anticipation. I am going to be digging into this game like a, a full course meal. I can't wait. This is going to be one of those that I'm, I I don't even know how I'm going to be covering it here on the channel. Definitely going to do guides, but I, I wanted to do a let's play. But to be honest... Like, oh my god, the pop-up there is uh, atrocious. Right here, you see the whole, like, rock just form in the background. It kind of, oh no. But anyway, the I, I do want to do a Let's Play, so that's going to be happening here on the channel. But I am going to be having to just play the game off of the Let's Play, basically. And uh, I'll probably catch you up of what I've been doing since the last Let's Play episode because I, I definitely going to want to just like walk around and live in this world for the review. I, I, I need to. I need to. And just look at this. I want to enjoy this. So there's going to be times where I played on Let's Play and I don't and I do guides. I'm going to be all over the place with this one. But let me know what you want to see with Pokemon Legends Arceus as far as going into it and covering it wise. I'm going to be trying to do my best to cover it here on the channel. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Mario, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on. I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton. As far as moving the videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.